In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you how to update to the Anking overhaul from the Dorian, Cheesy Dorian, or Zonky Step 2 decks. And in the description of this video, I'm going to put time codes for each of those so that you can skip to the part that is relevant for you. Okay, how to update here. I've got the, uh, this is the Dorian deck. This is how it shows up. The first step you're going to want to do is you're going to go Anking and make a deck here. And you're going to drag that in there. Uh, and then I would recommend renaming this to like this. Cheesy Dorian M3, like that, so that it's formatted properly, similar to how the Cheesy Dorian one is, because that's uh, the one that I used as a base. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is change the note types of everything. So I'm going to import my note type here. Um, there we go. And we're going to change the note type of all the Dorian stuff into this. Now, just a preference, in a, a preface, in a second, we're going to use the special fields add on. If you're going to protect the text and extra section because you've been making changes to that, you are not going to want to change any of the basic cards. Um, go to note types here. You're not going to want to change any of these because it won't work. Uh, if you are fine with that, then with updating things and overriding any changes you've made, then I would recommend changing all of these. So I'm going to go through and do it. The only ones that don't need to be changed are this Ansel OME and close multiple does not need to be changed. Everything else I would recommend changing the note type. So I'm going to do it here. We'll go change note type to on King master and then basic and just click through these. If you have multiple decks in your collection, you're going to want to make sure that they are in the deck that is cheesy Dorian before you're changing the note type. So it might be easier to export it to a separate profile. Uh, and, and do it in a separate profile. So that's the only deck in the profile. And then, okay, same thing here. And just go down the list. And like I said, close multiple does not need to be done. And it takes a little while, but um, the update will be worth it. It's far cleaner. I only use one note type as I'm doing this <clears throat> to make life a lot easier for updates and such. So if you're doing this, you can just follow along exactly like I'm doing. I realize I'm doing it kind of fast. You can slow me down if you want. I'm doing it fast for those that uh, know what's kind of going on. And let's see, Doc Zay. Doc Zay is a great guy, by the way, if you haven't met him. Uh, these image occlusion cards, be careful not to change those into clothes. You'll ruin everything. Um, <clears throat> this one here, I actually deleted and removed these cards because they're actually covered elsewhere in the deck. So you can delete them or keep them, whatever you choose. And then last but not least, this J here. Change note type. And OK. All right, so now everything is this Anking Master note type here, and we want to update using the Step 2 deck. Uh, I'm going to preface this real quick. This video here, how to update decks using the special fields add-on, is really important. I would strongly recommend watching this video like right now uh, to better understand this process, so you understand what is going on. Um, I'll link this in the description. And the other thing here is this Hoops Derm deck for residency that's posted on Reddit has like four cards that conf conflict with this. So um, if you've exported this to a separate profile, that's great. Otherwise, I would recommend exporting this for the time being and re-importing it afterwards. Um, anyway, just an odd thing that I found while I was doing this. Okay, so now we're going to set up the special fields add-on. So we'll go to Tools, Special Fields. Like I said, if you want the text and extra protected because you've made notes in those front fields, then you can. I'm actually going to undo them just for the sake of uh, uh, doing everything here. And then I'm going to click the Update Settings button. Yours may actually look like... So if we go to defaults, you're probably, yours probably looks like this. Yeah. Probably looks like this because that's the default. And I've been messing with mine. So you're going to want it to be update settings so it looks exactly like this. And like I said, text and extra if, if you decide you want to update those. And then you're going to import this deck. And it will magically update everything. Hopefully this works. Um, this is only the second time I've done this. So hopefully everything goes smoothly. And then uh, I will show you how to clean this up. And there we go. Look, everything updated. And we added a bunch of files because this deck here actually has the step one deck in it as well. Um, you may want to just do the part of the step one deck that is in step two if you're just studying for step two at this point. And uh, any of my posts will have details on that uh, to make it a little bit more understandable for you. OK, let's close that. There we go. All right, we got all these cards now. So now I'm going to go into the browser. I'm going to go notes. 
clear unused tags. It's going to clear everything up, but we still have all of these tags. Uh, if you have the better tags add-on, you can just delete all of these. The reason for that is because there's a bunch of cards in the Dorian deck that don't update because Dorian duplicated a ton and Cheesy Dorian took all those duplicates out. So anything with this um, step two tag is the stuff I'm going to use moving forward. You can see this one does not have that step two tag. This card is going to be ignored completely moving forward. Um, so I would recommend doing all of these. Now the way to figure <coughs> out which ones are the ones in your Dorian deck that I did not include or Cheesy Dorian did not include is to click on the Cheesy Dorian deck and then command or control click on the step two tag and that is the 10,000 cards that are included. So if you wanna find all the ones that are not included, you click on the Cheesy Dorian deck and then this time command or control plus alt, click on the step two and those 4,000 cards here are going to be ignored. So you can delete them, you can flag them, you can do whatever you want with them. Uh, but that is how you update to this deck from Dorian. And next I'm gonna show you how to do it with Cheesy Dorian. Dorian, uh, a lot of you probably skipped to right here, so I'm gonna show you every single step, assuming that you did not watch before. Uh, I strongly recommend you watch this how to update decks using the special fields add-on video. This is linked in the description. I, I strongly recommend it. It will really help you understand the process here. That's what's going on. Uh, first, I'm going to go to tools, special fields, just to show you something. It is going to protect these fields. Now, there are probably a lot of you that have edited your text and your extra fields. If that is the case, the first step I will show you, uh, you're going to want to pay attention to. Uh, now, before that, you're going to want to put everything in an Onking head deck. So create a deck, call it that, drag this in there, uh, and you're good. The next thing you're going to want to do is import the Onking master note type because we got to change everything to that. So now you're good, and then we're going to go into the browser. All right, now, like I said, we're going to change all the note types to this Onking master note type. So go here to note types. And uh, there is one note type that is a basic card. If you are protecting the the text and extra section, I would flag this or something because you're going to have to manually turn it into a close card because it won't update. If you're not protecting the text and extra section, then ignore this. But I would uh, put this here and then turn it into a close and it's gonna get mad at me because it's not at a close card type yet. So let's change note type to a onking master, but then it's probably going to get rid of it and say, oh no, now it's gone. So now you gotta click in here. Uh, and, and you would want to make this into a close. So that's just if you're not if you are protecting the text and extra section. If you're not, you're fine. Now the rest of the way you got to do is turn all these close cards into the on King Master note type. So we're going to change note type to on King Master, and hopefully there we go. Uh, just to click through these real quick, and then this image occlusion here, you're not going to want to change. There's nine cards. I actually did not include these in the final version, so you could delete these if you want or keep them, whatever you choose. Uh, but now everything is this card type. So now we're going to set up the special fields add-on Go the tools Special fields set it up as you like if you want the text and extra protected or if you don't I'm actually going to delete them just because Make the ideal thing here and then you're going to want to click update settings like described in the special fields add-on video So that we'll update everything and then we are going to click the step two deck and import it um, And that will import and update all of these cards like you want so um, Really really easy um, should, shouldn't have any issues here. Sorry, this takes a little while. There we go. As you can see, everything was updated. There wasn't anything skipped, so now it should all look really pretty. And there's step one cards here that got imported as well. Um, and if you're not doing step one, there will be a smaller deck you can download that just has the step one overlap. Uh, so that is basically the Dorian thing here. Uh, the last step you're going to want to do is browse and then notes, clear unused tags here and you'll be able to see that I've got these tags here and anything that still has this Dorian tag from the uh, original cheesy Dorian deck those are cards that are not being included in this final deck those are our cards that um, I've gotten rid of or merged or they were already in the step one deck and I've tagged them appropriately so just as an FYI so that's how you do that uh, pretty simple on to Zonky step two Okay, Zonky step two, the last one. I'll show you all the same steps I've showed everybody else. Uh, you're gonna wanna watch this video on how to update using the special fields add-on. This is really, really important. Uh, it'll help you understand everything that's gonna go on here. Um, but first you're going to wanna create a deck and call it Onking. And you're gonna drag the Zonky step two deck into there. And then we're gonna change, oops, 
sorry, getting ahead of myself. We're going to change the note types. So first you're going to import the OnKing master note type if you don't have it already. And then you need to change this to that. So we're going to go to the browser and we're going to change all of those note types. So we'll go here. And these are the ones you're going to want to do. Uh, 88141, we'll select all those, change note types, and go to OnKing master. This is the fast bar add-on up at the top, by the way, if you didn't know. And then we'll click here, same thing, select all those, change note types to on King Master. And I don't think there's anything else, let's double check. Perfect. So we're ready. And now we're going to go to Tools, Special Fields. I'm going to set this up as you want. If you want to protect your text and extra fields because you've been uh, putting stuff in those fields, that's great. And then you're going to want to update settings and you'll import the Step 2 deck. And just like that, it should update everything and uh, you should be good to go. Um, it, it's really simple going from this step two. It's going to import quite a few cards though. You're gonna get a, a lot of the Dorian cards and, and this deck actually has a step one in it as well. But as you can see, we updated all the cards and we added a bunch. So that is really all there is to it. Thanks for learning with the On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also, feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.